hello, I'm Alden of Alden's Energy Healing, and this is my weekly cards and crystals video where I do a sound bath, a card bowl, and give a crystal prescription for the week. And the thing is, even if you're watching this like three years from now, there's always a really specific theme that comes up in these videos. And you can use them and use the energy of them and use the Reiki and crystal healing I usually do in them anytime. Like I literally send my clients old videos of these to be like, I think you could use this message. So don't stress about it not being like the week if you're watching this again. And as for this week though, we will be working with the Beyond Lemuria Oracle deck. Um, it's a pocket sized edition. I got it uh, in the Goddess Provisions box this month. And I've personally never worked with like Lemurian energy, so I'm excited to try it out. And today, our intention candle is from Frere Bianchot, and it's called This is Woman's Work. And they're this amazing black owned business based out of Maryland. And the candles smell incredible. And yeah, I just really wanted to highlight them because you should get a candle from them too. They're, again, they're Frere Bianchot. I think that's how you say it. I don't know if. Oh god, I just blew it out. That's great. We're doing great, fam. I don't know if that's how they pronounce it, though. I was just, like, phonetically sounding it out. Okie dokie. Try to. Alright, so tomorrow is the full moon in the Scorpio. And the full moons, in general, are all about releasing. And the, it's the first supermoon of four supermoons coming up. And really, it's a time where, because it's in Scorpio, the veil is super thin. You can connect with spirit guides, ancestors, um, benevolent, energetic beings much more easily. So really think about, like, maybe meditating and focusing on your third eye and things like that as a way to connect with the energies of the new moon. And within this candle, we're going to focus on two things. What we, or not new moon, full moon. Um, we're going to focus on what we want to release. And then within what we want to release, if you would like to also set an intention for yourself this week, we can totally do that. So for me, I would like to release feelings of anxiety and flutteriness. And you can just look at this candle and send that intention of what you want to release into the fire. Yeah, and so it is. And now it's a heart chakra Tibetan singing bowl. so interesting like the past um month or so whenever I've done the singing bowl it's felt like everyone's been really ready to receive that cleansing energy so thank you for that and hello hello those people who've just joined and I'm going to be pulling from the again the beyond the Muria deck and we shall see so the energy the question we are asking is just like what is the energy for this week and what is the message that we need that we could use okay hmm. so this card says beyond the mind it says the mind moves us through the logistics of life so we can function in the world however endless mental chatter self-doubt limiting stories and subconscious programs can keep us based in our suffering. Step outside mind-based limitations. 
Looking at things in an overly logical way will hinder you and obstruct access to your personal superpowers. The past may be running you and making your mind spin so you cannot see what's really in front of you. Consider what your heart and what your gut are telling you. What would the situation at hand feel like if you released all your fears and worries? Are these concerns even yours? So that's really beautiful, and this is what I just read, if you want to pause it and read that um, in the future. Uh, I, I find it really interesting how I was talking about, you know, the third eye and opening up the third eye, and in this image we have a sort of seed of life thing happening here at the heart, and then at this person's third eye, it's really just opening up into, like, the higher spaces of whatever it is that you connect to. And I think that is so fitting for this energy of the full moon and the veil being really thin and like how can we connect to something that is beyond our mind, something that is beyond ourself and like really release limiting beliefs and release things that are no longer serving us. So I think I've shown this crystal before, but it's just, you know, I go based off of week to week. So I really think this is what is needed and this is Lapidolite and it is a great third eye crystal great for relieving anxiety great for helping you break through limiting beliefs and helping you really cleanse your mind and go beyond your mind so that you can take advantage of your full expansion of your energy and your full expansion into your highest self i'm sensing some like kind of stuck energy here i think it's by someone's third eye so i'm just going to clear it out um, and just really imagine that I am around your third eye right now, opening it up, opening it up to the highest vibrational possibilities and receiving, you know, messages, downloads from the divine that serve you, that are for your highest good, and just really accepting those. And one really cool thing about, I just did an arm workout before this, and so it's like hard for me to keep my arms up. Uh, one really cool thing about lapidolite is that it actually has lith, uh, yeah, I mean, oh my god, now I'm wondering if I'm lying, no, it has lithium in it, which, um, is also in, like, healing medicines for anxiety, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, so today really is about going beyond your mind, opening up your third eye, taking care of yourself and this goes along with what I want to release personally you know releasing anxiety releasing stress and like I know some people who are watching it myself included are in middle of fi middle of finals week right now or middle of something really stressful and it's like that's all really stressful and that's all really heady you know mental energy stuff it's like but at the end of the day we are more than that, you know, and it's, this is temporal, this is temporary, and just remembering that we will move through it, and to go beyond the overthinking, beyond the mind, beyond the, um, getting stuck in our heads, so just really meditating, you know, on this lapidolite energy to help release the mental chatter that no longer serves us, and go beyond the mind yeah I like it when cards match the color of the crystal I picked it's very satisfying well I hope that served you all remember to take care of yourself and if a lot of negative self-talk and anxiety and limiting beliefs are coming up for you just remember that it is in your mind and check in with yourself and check in with your gut and check in with your heart and check in with your higher self and like other ways to connect to the world as opposed to just just through your brain because our brains are valid they help us function on a logical level but like there's also more you know and just honoring that and here is the sound bath to close it out and as always if you want to book a distance energy healing with me i'm a certified crystal healer and advanced crystal master as well as a reiki master and you can find me at Alden's Energy Healing on Instagram as well as on YouTube. So be sure to give me a like and a follow and to subscribe. I really appreciate you and I will be here next week, Sunday at 4 p.m. Many blessings.
to thank you everyone have a beautiful last week of april i'm sending you all so much energetic support have a great day bye bye